Touchdown, a new city, a new opportunity. The airplane touched down, and with it, a new chapter in my life began. The hum of the engines, the slight jolt as the wheels met the tarmac, it all signaled the start of something fresh and exciting. I could feel the familiar surge of excitement bubbling up inside me as I peered out of the airplane window. The sprawling cityscape below was a canvas of endless possibilities waiting to be explored and conquered. Every new city held the promise of adventure, a chance to discover something unique and unexpected. The bustling streets, the towering skyscrapers, the vibrant neighborhoods, each one had its own story to tell. This time, it was Denver, a city known for its stunning landscapes, thriving cultural scene and booming economy. Denver was more than just a destination, it was an opportunity waiting to be seized. I was here on a mission. My suitcase in hand, I navigated through the busy airport terminal, my mind racing with plans and strategies. This wasn't just another trip, it was a calculated move in the game of real estate. Real estate was my game, and I had a hunch about this city. The market here was ripe with potential and I was determined to make my mark. I spent hours poring over maps and listings, identifying the best opportunities. I've been in the real estate game for a while now. From negotiating deals to closing sales, I've seen it all. But every new city brought its own set of challenges and rewards, and Denver was no different. New York City is my home turf. The fast-paced, high-stakes environment of the Big Apple had taught me valuable lessons. But I learned early on that opportunity doesn't always wear a pinstripe suit. Sometimes it's in the rustle of palm trees in Miami, or the laid-back vibe of a small town. Each place had its own rhythm, its own way of doing things, and I had to adapt to succeed. Sometimes it's in the rustle of palm trees in Miami, where the sun shines bright and the real estate market is just as hot. The key was to recognize the potential in every location no matter how different it might be from what I was used to, or the crisp air of a Denver morning. The fresh, invigorating air filled my lungs as I stepped out into the city, ready to take on whatever challenges lay ahead. Denver had a unique charm, a blend of urban sophistication and natural beauty. Travel for me isn't just about the destination, it's about the journey of discovery. Each trip was a chance to learn something new, to grow both personally and professionally. The experiences I gained along the way were invaluable. It's about the journey of discovery. Walking through the streets, meeting new people, and immersing myself in the local culture. These were the moments that made each trip worthwhile. Every corner turned, every new face encountered, added to the rich tapestry of my journey. It's about uncovering hidden gems in the real estate market. The thrill of finding that perfect property, the one that others might have overlooked, was what drove me. Each discovery was a testament to my skills and instincts as a real estate agent. Beyond the Horizon – Why I Invest in Travel Real estate is all about location, location, location. The value of a property can change dramatically based on its surroundings. But how can you truly understand a location without experiencing it firsthand? It's not just about the physical space, but the vibe, the culture, and the people. That's where travel comes in. Traveling opens up a world of possibilities and insights that you can't get from a screen. It's an investment in knowledge. Every trip I take, every new place I visit adds to my understanding of the world and the markets within it. Traveling allows me to diversify my portfolio. By exploring different regions, I can identify unique opportunities and mitigate risks. I can tap into markets beyond my backyard. Each pin on the map represents a potential investment, a new adventure, and a chance to grow. It's like adding more colors to my palette as an investor. The more diverse my investments, the more resilient my portfolio becomes. Seeing a property online is one thing. Virtual tours and photos can only show so much. Feeling the energy of a neighborhood is another. The hustle and bustle, the local businesses, the community spirit, these are things you can only experience in person. I walk the streets, talk to the locals, and get a real sense of the pulse of the city. These interactions provide invaluable insights that no amount of data can offer. This on-the-ground perspective gives me an edge. I can see the potential in areas that others might overlook. I can spot opportunities that others might miss. Whether it's an up-and-coming neighborhood or a hidden gem, being there in person makes all the difference. It's about connecting the dots that data alone can't reveal. Travel enriches my understanding and helps me make more informed investment decisions. In the end, investing in travel is about more than just financial returns. It's about personal growth, expanding horizons, and embracing the unknown. Each journey teaches me something new, not just about the world, but about myself. And that to me is the greatest investment of all. Market Mapping – My Blueprint for Choosing Destinations 
I don't just spin a globe and pick a random city. My travel itinerary is a strategic roadmap. It all starts with research. I dive deep into market trends. I'm looking for cities with growth potential, strong rental yields, and a buzz in the air. Data analysis is key. I use online tools to track population growth, job markets, and infrastructure projects. Websites like Zillow, Realtor.com, comma, and local MLS listings are my go-to resources, but I also trust my gut. I follow my instincts and my passion for exploring new places. Sometimes the best opportunities are found off the beaten path. The art of the deal on the ground insights. Once I'm on the ground, it's all about immersing myself in the local market. I attend real estate conferences and networking events. I meet with local agents and developers. I ask questions, listen carefully, and absorb as much information as I can. These connections are invaluable. But the real magic happens when I step out of the boardroom and into the streets. I explore different neighborhoods. I visit potential investment properties. I pay attention to the details. Is the neighborhood walkable? Are there green spaces? What's the vibe like? These observations shape my investment decisions. Traveling for business doesn't have to break the bank. I've learned a few tricks along the way to keep my travel costs down and my productivity up. First, flexibility is key. I'm always on the lookout for flight deals and off-season travel opportunities. Traveling during the shoulder season can save you a bundle. Second, I've mastered the art of packing light. I stick to carry-on luggage to avoid baggage fees and delays. Plus, it forces me to be more organized. Third, I leverage technology to my advantage. I use travel apps to find the best deals on flights, hotels, and transportation. The beauty of the digital age is that I can run my business from anywhere in the world. My phone is my lifeline. I use cloud-based software to manage my documents, contracts, and communication. I can access everything I need with a few taps on my screen. Video conferencing is another game changer. I can tour properties virtually, negotiate deals, and close transactions all while on the go. It takes organization and discipline, but with the right tools and mindset, the world becomes your office. Real estate is a people business. I believe in building genuine relationships wherever I go. Networking is an essential part of my travel routine. I attend industry events, local meetups, and even strike up conversations with fellow travelers. You never know where you'll find your next opportunity or valuable contact. I always carry business cards and make an effort to connect with people on LinkedIn. Following up after a meeting is crucial for nurturing those relationships. I'll never forget the time I stumbled upon an incredible investment opportunity while on a trip to Austin, Texas. It was one of those moments that seemed almost serendipitous, as if the universe had aligned just right. I was there for a real estate conference, a bustling event filled with industry experts and eager investors. The energy was palpable and the sessions were informative, but something told me to explore beyond the convention center. I had a hunch that there was more to discover outside the confines of the event. So I decided to venture out to a neighborhood I had heard whispers about from a few colleagues. They mentioned it was an area with untapped potential, a place where the real estate market was just beginning to heat up. It was an up-and-coming area with a lot of potential. The streets were lined with new developments and charming older homes that had been recently renovated. There was a sense of growth and opportunity in the air and I could feel the excitement building within me. As I walked the streets I noticed a charming bungalow for sale. It stood out to me immediately with its quaint architecture and inviting front porch. I could already envision the possibilities it held. It needed some work but I could see its potential. The interior was a bit dated, and it was clear that the house had been neglected for some time. However, the bones of the house were solid, and I knew with the right renovations, it could become a beautiful and valuable property. I trusted my gut, made an offer, and ended up closing the deal remotely while on a flight back to New York. It was a whirlwind experience, negotiating terms and signing contracts from 30,000 feet in the air. But I had a good feeling about this investment, and I was determined to see it through. That property turned out to be one of my most profitable investments. After months of hard work and careful planning, the bungalow was transformed into a stunning home. The renovations paid off, and the value of the property skyrocketed. It was a rewarding experience, both financially and personally, and it all started with a simple decision to explore beyond the convention center. Travel has not only transformed my real estate portfolio, but it has also enriched my life in countless ways. I've experienced different cultures, tasted exotic cuisines, and broadened my perspective on the world. These experiences have made me a more well-rounded individual and a more astute investor. 
I've learned that the most valuable assets aren't always tangible, it's the memories, the connections and the personal growth that truly matter. I encourage all aspiring real estate investors to embrace travel as an integral part of their business strategy. Don't limit yourself to your own backyard. Get out there and explore the world. You never know what opportunities await you. Remember, every trip is an investment in your knowledge, your network, and your future success. So pack your bags, grab your passport, and get ready to embark on your own real estate adventures. The world is your oyster. Embrace the journey, trust your instincts, and watch your real estate portfolio soar to new heights.